Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we are going to find the Fountain of Youth or die trying because we're going to be checking out Survival Fountain of Youth. Now, it's no secret, survival games are one of my favorite genre of games, and I love it when they're extremely detailed, and I have saw a little bit about this game, and it's looking really, really good. Now, this is the demo. Uh, if you guys do like this, of course, uh, we'll leave off where we leave off in this demo once the game does come out. But yeah, I'm super excited to get back into a detailed survival game, and yeah, we're going to be looking for the fountain of youth today so let's get right into it there's a little bit of a backstory and it's actually a decent one uh so yeah let's listen this story is inspired by real events according to historic records on march 4th 1513 three ships sailed from puerto rico they were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer juan ponce de leon the goal of the expedition was to search for the legendary fountain of youth it all began in Puerto Rico, when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to the Chief Gaibana in a war against other tribes. The Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The grateful chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people, a legend about Bimini, a hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini is the Fountain of Youth. Anyone who drinks from it will enjoy long years of health and youth. The chief also gave him an old map, covered with inscriptions in an ancient language. The map showed an uncharted group of islands. The location to search was clear but the inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. The captain believed in the legend and began to prepare an expedition. The best scientists and sailors of the new and old worlds volunteered to join his adventure. A total of three ships sailed off, the Santiago, the Santa Maria, and the San Cristobal. Ponce de Leon was sure that the ancient map would lead them to the fountain and bring them fame, wealth, and eternal youth. The voyage to the islands took an entire month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. They were the islands from the map. The expedition was just one day from its goal. All right. Well, that is the backstory, and it looks like we are on the ship right now. Uh, somebody just knocked at the door. Hello, sir. Oh, sorry. All right. Well, so far, so good. We don't have to survive on islands just yet, but I have a sneaky suspicion things will go weird here pretty quickly. Um, this is cool, though. I, I love... The biggest thing I hate in most survival games is you're just marooned on a deserted island and you don't really know why. It's nice that this one actually has a backstory and one based on truth. All right, but we have to go to the bow of the ship. So I'm making my way there. I didn't even see this one. He's sleeping in the, uh, in the rowboat. Ooh. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. I do see what looks to be an island in the distance and obviously a storm as well. Oh, God damn it. I keep punching everything. All right, so we got a map of some sort. Now we got to go to the captain's cabin. This is a big ship, man. I feel fancy on this thing. Uh, all right, well, here we are. What is this? Oh, stop smacking everything. Uh, I need steel flint for that. Okay. All right, so we're just reading an artifacts note. They found some water and some flask, and it healed scars. So, uh, yeah, that's clearly from the Fountain of Youth. What do you want me to do right now? Oh, take the steel flint. Where is it? Oh, well, that was convenient. All right, so now we should be able to light this place up. There we go. Look, oh, man, I love the detail of this. All right, so we got a map. And this is probably the one the tribe gave to me. Not really. Oh, my God. All right, who cares about the map right now? What the hell is going on? Oh, my God. Uh, did something attack us? Did we? Ah! I don't even know what just happened. We got a little bit of a problem, though. Uh, take the grotto plan from... What? Grotto plan? Is this it? Oh, yeah. Grotto location map. Okay, so this is where we need to go. All right, so there's some sort of cave with behind it. There's this weird rock structure. So I should be able to see that hopefully when we uh, get there, get the items from the chest. Okay, so this is where we're starting here. 
Oh, I like this. I can only take two items because obviously I don't have much storage. So this is where I could royally screw up. Uh, we got fishing rods, iron spear, spears, axes. Some of them are actually degraded, though, as you can see. So maybe I should get provisions. I feel like a flint would be very, very smart. I always like to get my vitals first in survival games. I have a feeling we'll be able to make basic weapons with stones. So I'm thinking actually the fishing rod might be smart. I have fire. I can cook fish. I feel like that's a good start. I hope I don't regret this decision, but that is what I'm taking. And I guess we jump through the window now. Uh, yes, I would like to leave the ship. <laughs> Please don't die. This is horrifying. I love this intro. Best intro into a survival game yet. And there we go. The storm came out of nowhere. None of us were ready for it. Okay, so it was a storm. Strong winds and giant waves blew up in a split second and crashed into the ship. The sails were torn apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. I came to my senses on the sandy shore. My memories were gone. I could not even remember my name. But I was alive and hoped that at least one of my fellow crew members had also escaped. All right, so we're alone on an island. Surprise, surprise. No idea if any of the crew members survived. We might be able to see them later. I have no idea. That would actually be pretty cool. All right, and here we are. Of course, marooned on an island. And, well, this is where we have to survive now. So immediately I'm seeing from that map, this is obviously where we're supposed to be. There should be a cave over here somewhere. Looking around, we got crabs. The question is, can I just simply eat a crab? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me just chase a crab. That guy is way too fast. I mean, humans are known for their stamina, so maybe I can outrun this guy. Come on. Okay, I've actually just ran out of stamina. Ah, uh, damn it. Just judging by the animal AI that's running away from me, that gets me really excited. All right, I need to find a green coconut right now. I'm still kind of in a tutorial phase right now. Um, we did just run away from palm trees. Probably not the smartest idea. I'm just wanting to explore right now. We might want to collect some small things like sticks and whatnot. That's how we get blueprints. Good to know. Is there any shipwreck pieces I can use? Can I swim in this game? Oh, the weather affects your health. Oh, great. So if it's cold, I gain a sniffy nose and sunburn. I already have my inventory full. Wait, how small is my inventory? Oh my god. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed that bag. I didn't realize I'd only have five slots. I like this, though. Like, too many games, you have way too big of an inventory. This is what I'm talking about. This is going to be interesting. There's crabs everywhere, but what is this guy? I it, I think it's a squirrel. Hey, little guy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, freak off. Freak, freak off. <laughs> Wait, maybe I could kill him? I'm, oh, my God. That's horrifying. Stop. Uh, okay. I don't know if I should fight you or not. He's, like, warning me. Dude. Okay, okay, come on, man. I was just looking at you. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am not gonna screw with this guy. He's gonna kill me. Stop. What the frig, man? I did nothing. I was, oh, well, I was gonna try and eat you. Let's be fair here. Um, okay. Well, don't screw with the squirrels. Oh, great. I'm near death already. <laughs> I just love, I love that I'm, I'm near death because of a squirrel. This is how screwed I am if I'm ever marooned on an island. I thought the squirrel would have been friendly. They are in Disney movies. Where the frig is a coconut? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die before I can even start surviving in this game. Cut down. Uh, yeah, obviously I, I should have grabbed the ax. Okay, but I can harvest it. Oh, that's so cool. So I don't need to cut it down. I can actually just harvest it if I want to. I just want a freaking coconut. Is there, there's gotta be one in one of these trees. Oh my God, is that a coconut? Is it right where I started and I just didn't see it? I thought it was a rock. Oh my God. God. All right, so I need to craft coconut water with this. So I'm assuming that's in blueprints. And yes, now we can craft. That took 10 minutes to crap, crack open a coconut. Again, attention to detail. I love it. And look at that. We might have almost died by a squirrel, but now we are eating. Now we need to satisfy hunger. Raise food value to 50%. Oh, how am I supposed to do that? Don't tell me I have to kill the squirrels. All right, but I'm just going to crack some more coconuts and try and drink these. That does the water. Okay, so I'm 100% water. I just gotta get food now. There was a ripe coconut here. I doubt it can be found on the beach. I mean, can I eat the coconut pieces? Oh, sick. That That is actually food. Okay, so we'll craft, cr crack open that. 
And we will eat that. Oh, we're gonna, at 43. Is there another ripe one somewhere? There's got to be one somewhere around here. I do not want to have to kill a squirrel because I will probably die. I wonder if I can craft like a spear. A wooden club, stone cutter, stone... I want a spear. Wooden spear. Um, I need a long stick for that. Can be gathered from a Dreama Predatree. What the hell is a Dreama Predatree? Hello, tree. Are you a Dreama Predatree by any chance? Oh, you got... All right. We got mushrooms. That's got to be safe. Eating random wild mushrooms. All right. So I know I can't actually put the um, fishing pole in my weapon slots. Um, I got no spots for it. So... It says I need a fishing spot as well. Advanced fishing tool at fishing spots with a rod stand. So I thought I could just simply fish. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Nothing is easy when it comes to survival. Hold on. I wonder if I can catch a fish. That should work, right? Oh, yeah. That, that looks freaking edible. A sea urchin. Actually, you know what? I know they are actually edible. So let's drop this. Put in inventory. Aren't they poisonous, though? Oh, I should read my quest more often. I can eat mollusks. And fruit trees grow in the jungle. Okay, so I definitely got to read my quest more. I did see a mollusk somewhere. There we go. So I'm just going to eat... I mean, this is a conch cell. That should be good, right? Um, Blueprints. Can I can I craft this? Can be gathered from sea urchins and starfish. Basic... Uh, can be found in the seabed. To learn this blueprint, study these resources. So I need a starfish as well before I can eat a sea urchin for some reason. All right, so we'll just leave you there. Let's see if I can eat this thing. Yes! Give me the conch! Craft. Ten, 10 minutes to pull a snail out, essentially, or whatever. A conch. I didn't even know that was a, an animal. I do not deserve to be surviving here. All right. I'm learning how to survive in this game. This is great. I am sorry, guys. It took me that long. Now I need a place to sleep. All right. So I can harvest narrow leaves. I need the narrow leaves. So, oh, I love that you can choose what you want to harvest. All right. Buildings. Primitive bed of leaves. There we go. I need, I need five, and I have four, of course. Give me one more leaf, please. I need one of those. Harvest. Five minutes. It's looking like it is turning nighttime. I love that we even, in my inventory, like, have the weather. Oh, I'm, like, nerding out for this game. This is, uh, this is really, really fun so far. Uh, all right. Bed. Where's the bed at? There is a lot in this game already, as you can see. I can make a, a leaf cape. That sounds exciting. But right now, we're just gonna place a bed. Um, should I place it, like, under a tree for shade? I don't know if we can get sunburnt while sleeping, so I'm just gonna place it right here. And place resources, build. 30 minutes to build. It is nighttime. And smoke signal. No, I don't want a smoke signal. Sleep six hours or more. I want to sleep. I guess we'll sleep for 10. I probably need it anyways. Hello, good morning. All right, there we go. We are good. We're actually doing okay for food and everything. I could, if I could just heal myself. All right, so I want to see if I can fully feed myself and water myself. Yes, that's what drinking is called, watering myself. Uh, I want to see if I slowly heal, because in a lot of games that happens, so right now I'm just going to focus on doing that. I'm sick. Oh, fantastic. You've gained a disease status as a result of external influences. There are several types of disease. Sunburn, flu, wounds, fever, food... I got food poisoning, clearly. Malaria, overheating, and poisoning. Oh, great. Um, medicine. I just wanted to feed myself! All right, so screw trying to heal myself. I'm just going to die slowly anyways. Let's try and build this smoke signal. All right, so we need yellow leaves for that. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so now we can place the smoke signal probably close to the water or beside my fellow sea urchin friend. And place resources. going to take an hour to build a smoke signal. I guess that makes sense. There we go. Is somebody going to save me? What the hell is that over there? Is that a ship? All right, well, we'll worry about that later. Create a stone cutter now. Are you- are, yes! Okay, we finally got a stone, so now I should be able to craft a stone cutter. I saw that in here. Perfect. Craft. 30 minutes. Find the pictured grotto. Oh, okay, so we have a stone cutter and we're just good to go. I have this to save myself. Come here. I just want to freaking kill you. Can I throw this thing? Nope. I can only stab. All right, I would really prefer having the spear, but I need the Dreama Predatory, so I don't think that's going to happen. So that was on the map. Sir, can we actually see the map? Yeah, if you document. All right, so stone there. It's here. Now, this is a point of interest, though. It looks like there's a whale skeleton or some sort of big skeleton on the beach. And I'm assuming this is on the beach line then. So I guess we should look for that. Oh, great. Things are just getting better for my survival situation. Now it's raining. That means I'm going to get a sniffy nose, probably. Should I try and, like, take shelter? Is that a thing? Nope, my wetness is still going up. Aha! 
All right, it's right here. Oh my god, I just ran by it. Yes, get me out of this freaking rain. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to go this way because I almost went the other way. Okay, oh my god, that's scorpions. Almost walked right into them. I am not smart. All right, so check the map on the wall. Let's not die to the scorpions that are chilling here. Can I kill them? Hold on. Come here. I need to eat. Don't... Please don't kill me. Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> ah, oh, living water! Oh my god, that's what I need to heal myself. Oh, thank god. And now we have a map... All right, Island of Hope map. So, on this map, Ponce de Lone marked the approximate location of two water sources, the coastal grotto and the small island where, they lo where he lost his spyglass. The captain says that the spyglass remained in the place where fireflies are visible at night. Location, Island of Hope. So, we can either go here where there's wolves or swim to a freaking island. Or I guess we can make a ship as well or a raft. But at least we know now uh, we have to go all the way across this island and look for the fireflies at night. Our Captain Juan Ponce de Leon also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore this island. He named it the Island of Hope. During his trip to the small nearby island, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a hurry to help his crew. In his hurry, he forgot his spyglass on a small island. It could come in handy for me. All right, I kind of dig the whole backstory here. This is actually really cool. And yeah, he left us the living water, so that could restore us. I don't know if I should save it, because I'm probably going to get poisoned again by something. I'm half health right now, which isn't awful. All right, so it looks like we got some tinder here, so I can start this fire. So we're going to add fuel. An hour to add sticks? What the hell? All right, well, let's do it anyways. There we go. We got a fire. Now, I should be able to cook those scorpions. Never mind. I guess I can't cook scorpions. I can take their venom, but I need whatever this thing is. Oh, a wide leaf. Um, Got any wide leaves? That's an arrow leaf. Damn it. Wide leaf. Ha ha. All right, so we're going to process this. I don't know. It's primitive medicine for all forms of poisoning. That could come in handy. Problem is, I don't know. Like, my inventory is going to be a major issue unless I can craft a backpack of some sort. I can build a portable box if I get, again, long sticks. I need long sticks for everything. So I don't think I'm going to get more inventory space anytime soon. Oh, they do exist. We do actually have trees with coconuts on them. So I'm going to grab those. Harv chance of injury, 21%. Never mind. I don't want to risk that. Damn, a thunderstorm. What the? I'm just trying to look for wide leaves right now. It wants me to craft a bandage, and I use one of my wide... Ah! ah! I don't like it. But yeah, I used all the white leaves in here. Also, my fire went out, so that's fantastic. This is fun. Surviving is fun, man. All right, so I think I'm going to take the risk and go through this cave a little bit. I'm really worried about scorpions. But I'll take my time, and hopefully I don't regret it. Worst case, I have that water that I can drink. There's got to be a stick in here. Ooh, okay, I love that I can still see the lightning. That's actually convenient. Ah, oh, what the frick is that? Get it off me! Okay, okay, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Well, I made it through the scorpion horror zone. I don't think I got poisoned. I probably got poisoned. Oh, there's my smoke. Look at that. Oh. Is that what I had to do? I had to go through this sc creepy scorpion death pit to get r r rid of the storm? All right, there's got to be a long stick somewhere out here. All right, I got to figure out what tree I need. It's got to be... What the hell is this? Oh, God. Oh, my God. No! 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 I'll kill you guys. I'll freak out. I, I have a weapon this time. Get off me! Kill it! Kill it! Just, you're dead. I killed your friend. Go away. No, I'll freaking kill you. Actually, don't go away. You're going to die. Oh, thank God. Okay, I am clearly very injured. Uh, Where did my water go? Oh, there it is. Um, is. We're going to use that. And we are healed. And now I have squirrel meat. Please tell me these are the trees I need because I wanted to kill those guys just to check these. It is it. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I can get a common log or I can harvest it. What the frig? How do I get the long stick? Jerima Preda tree. Is that not what I'm... Oh, no. I'm on a, ter a pterodon tree? How many freaking trees is there in this game? God damn it. I thought that was it. Oh, my God. Are the birds attacking me? No! 
Please, please. Oh my God. What the frig is this game? Oh my God. Oh, I don't like it. I don't, did, did I kill the bird? I, I, I'm just gonna run. I saw these. Yes, I found it. I found it. Get away. Oh my God, there's a freaking squirrel at it too. Jesus Christ. No, please. I just want to stick. I just... Oh my God, what is going on? Please leave me alone, Mother Nature. Oh my God, I just broke my, my freaking stone too. I'm gonna die. What the hell? Well, oh, oh my God, I am stressed. God damn it. Where was I? I don't even know where I was. And now it's raining again. Great. Okay, guys, I think, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up this one here. I was not prepared for the amount of survival in this game. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do like this, I'd love to go back into it. With more knowledge, I didn't expect every animal to be freaking dangerous. This is Survival Fountain of Youth. This is only the demo for the game, so I don't know if I'll do any more of this right now. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like it, maybe we can get to the end of the demo as well if there's a lot more to do. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, my sad skills of survival. Uh, but yeah, if you want to know anything more about this game, I'll link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.